this at the moment is definitely the it bag but is it worth getting the it bag or is it worth getting something that is this trend but a bit cheaper and on the Louis Vuitton runway show they had big bags like this as well they even had like a slouchy dauphin which looked a bit crazy hey guys welcome to my channel I'm Jess please like and subscribe to my channel I'm almost at 13,000 subs and you know just gotta hit that subscribe guys so thank you so much okay let's talk about handbags recently I went on Instagram and I noticed that purse bop was reporting about the Amago bag so I'll link that post below but the Amago bag from The Row was a bag that I was kind of looking at a few months ago when I did a video about bags from The Row and to be honest I'm not that familiar with The Row I just know that Mary Kate and Ashley design everything and it's very under the radar cool celebrities love it and their aesthetic seems to me very similar to Hermes in terms of their bags they have minimal branding very classic silhouettes and the Margot bag is said to be the up-and-coming desired bag and in fact it could be the next Birkin and I actually googled um, the Margo bag and I found an article from Vogue saying that this is the next up-and-coming heirloom bag and I'm I think it could be because we're seeing a lot of celebrities wearing it and in a few years it will become like one of those very desired bags for example back in like you know 2008 whatever 2010 we saw a lot of celebrities Victoria Beckham uh wear the Birkin bag and it kind of elevated it to this next level where people thought wow like maybe in the past the Birkin was a little bit under the radar but now it's become this big thing to get one although it was always desirable it kind of exploded from celebrities wearing it so perhaps the Margot will be the next Birkin but to be honest guys I kind of doubt it but let's talk about it today and get into it and maybe compare it to what other brands are doing at the moment and maybe what is this current trend if you look at the larger Margot bags I noticed that the inside of the bag look uh, looks very similar to Loewe's lining or Hermes's lining it's very similar to uh, a dust bag so it's kind of like this herringbone finish or like fabric and this is a little cosmetics case that was made from Naomi Crafted I'll link her below but she make, makes little bags out of Hermes dust bags so pretty cool but anyways uh, the Vro has kind of also adopted this similar lining that Hermes uses and upon first looking at the Margot bag admittedly from the front on view it really reminded me of a Belide bag which is a very classic bag from Hermes came out in 1923 and especially the Belide Relax 45 in the smooth leather and the interior is a very similar um, fabric it really gave me that same vibe because it's this really slouchy smooth bag no hardly any logos and actually purse bob compared it to a birkin because it has these similar like cinching things at the side so it's not really like a bleed it's just the front bit looks like a bleed um i actually have a bleed 35 here just to show you so it's a very slouchy bag and then it has a bit of a seam here and it's a dome shape but it's kind of like a bleed and a, a birkin had a baby because like the side of the bag has these buckles which kind of look like similar vibe to a Birkin like this so it's almost like a a Balkan kind of like that kind, kind of thing like mixed together so I feel like perhaps the row was inspired by Hermes but you know who's to say right and what should we buy well if you go for the smaller Margot bags from what I see, they're about 8000 ish Australian dollars, so not cheap. I mean, you could pick up a pre-loved dome-shaped bag from any designer brand. I mean, a lot of brands do dome-shaped bags. Uh, for example, this Hermes bag I picked up from Vestiaire, it was around $4,000 dollars which is not cheap but it is half the price of a Margot bag and I feel like it's really amazing quality I'm not that familiar with the quality of the row uh, let me know guys do you think it's as good as Hermes because for me I've tried out Louis Vuitton I've tried Chanel I've tried Gucci Celeron for me Hermes has been the best quality because it has a lot of handmade elements to it the leather is the most beautiful if the row it can compete against Hermes then I would say it's probably worth paying the price because the row is a lot more accessible than Hermes if you look at it, the way that they sell their bags you can get, get them on Netta Porter you can get them on My Teresa from their own website and I know there are some bags that sell out quite fast but I don't think they're as hard to get as Hermes bags and also in terms of resale value I know that it doesn't matter to everyone but I'm sure that the Hermes 
would probably hold value more than the the robe but who's to say guys because if the robe becomes more popular then well it might just be the next big thing right and if you look at uh, the spring runway from Louis Vuitton for 2024, they also have these like Elma bags, which I'm not actually sure if it's an Elma, but it looks like an Elma. Let me know what this bag is, guys, because I didn't have time to research. But it's a similar like slouchy shape and it kind of opens up like this. And then it has a little um, fastening that is like a little like turn lock thing and the sangles. So this is definitely a trend, these slouchy big dome shaped bags on the Louis Vuitton runway show they had big bags like this as well they even had like a slouchy dauphine which looked a bit crazy but um yes it's definitely very different to you know this kind of trend of having these micro bags and these cutesy bags what's trending is these big lived in like kind of more organic looking bags and then at Ferragamo there's also another dome shaped bag uh let me just look up the name the hug medium bag and it's a kind of another scoopy style with a bit of a softer leather and I just love the black and the red combo with the red interior that just looks stunning to me it looks like a little verso special order um just a stunning bag and it's four thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars so comparing to bags from the row it's actually cheaper and I actually think that it looks quite cool as well but it's a lot less understated than the row because it just has more elements to it with those like sangly things so the row to me is a lot more understated even in terms of the colorways they do this Ferragamo one because of the red contrast it just gives it a bit more of like loudness to it although they do it do do it in new buck leather as well which definitely gives me more like the current trend of the row so Maybe the row is the one that is making quiet luxury cool again because to me Hermes has been this way for a very long time and there are sides of Hermes as well that are not very quiet luxury obviously but yes I don't know whether it's get worth investing into the row bag unless you absolutely love it because this at the moment is definitely the it bag but is it worth getting the it bag or is it worth getting something that is this trend but a bit cheaper or something that you think you'll wear longer for long term I've, I'm sure there are so many as I said um dome shaped bags that you could get on the pre-love market that are that slashy silhouette but if you like dome shaped bags the Alma one is Alma is a really nice way to go as well but there isn't that many I had a look there's not many like low-key slouchy Alma bags you'd have to go more for like a bleed from Hermes so something like this but yeah what do you think of the Margot bag guys do you love it or do you hate it <laughs> let me know there's another bag from the row which I also quite like called the Nina bag and this definitely reminds me more of an Alma because it has those handles that kind of sit down um and it's quite a, they have this beautiful burgundy color it's eight thousand six hundred and five dollars so it's like it's not a cheap bag guys for the row they're definitely positioning them, themselves up really high because on my Teresa you don't often buy bags that are like this expensive I don't know guys like is that just me because I feel like usually these brands that are positioned on my Teresa or you know Netta Porter they're not usually like over 6k but this is quite an expensive bag to just buy online you know this is not Louis Vuitton this is not Hermes this is not Chanel this is the row so yes but I mean it looks like a very classic style and this one comes with a little pouch as well it's got the contrasting stitch Margot 10 is 7361 dollars the Margot 12 8391 dollars the Margot 15 8913 dollars yeah I like it I like the aesthetic I love bags that you can wear for every day that you know you don't have to get worried about getting wrecked they have their own kind of natural form to them you can kind of scoop it under your arm like this and just like throw all your stuff in I think it's a really cool look and it's very practical and it's very different from what we were seeing a few years ago in terms of trends but this whole slouch bag look is very in at the moment uh yeah so I, I think you could probably buy a contemporary brand with this look as well. If you just wanted the trend, you don't necessarily have to spend the row or Hermes money. But yeah, I really like the trend and I'm glad that I bought this bag um, last year because it wasn't really a, as big a trend yet. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening to me blab on today. Let me know, guys, what you think about the Margot bag. Do you think it's going to be the next it bag or are you over it already? Let me know and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!